What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys today in this video I am going to show you how to completely clean hacked computer step by step. So further ado let's get started. But before that if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. Okay guys now you can see my computer is clean. Now let me show you all the steps what you can follow to check your computer that it has been hacked or not. And if it hacked, then how to completely clear your computer from the virus and ransomware and all the other malicious files. So first thing first, we have to identify the unwanted process what has been running on our computer. Because whenever malware or any type of virus attack on our computer, it's gonna start some process that can slow down our computer and can move all of our data to the hacker system. So we have to identify a unwanted process and then we have to terminate it. So right click on your taskbar. And from here go to task manager make the task manager full screen and now here you will see all the processes what has been running on your computer since your computer boot up now from all of these processes you have to identify the unwanted process or application what has been running so if i see my app section here you can see i have only running three application the google chrome OBS Studio and Task Manager. So those are good. Then we have the background processes. Mostly the virus or malware or the ransomware file create background processes and run it on your computer in background. So you have to check all of these processes. And if you found any unwanted process that using more CPU, memory, network or disk, then you have to select and terminate that process. In my case, I don't have any unwanted process running on my computer. So if you found any type of unwanted process, try to expand it and you will get some idea about that process. Or what you can do, you just take the name of that process and Google it. Let's say this is HXTSR. So if I open my browser and search on Google HXTSR, here you can see this process is working for Microsoft Outlook. So that is not a malware process. Like this, you have to identify all the unwanted process on your computer running on your computer background. And if you found any, terminate that process. Then the next step. Now sometime malware create a user account on your computer and hide it. Then they can remotely access your computer using that user account. So you have to find all the user account which has been created on your computer. So to do that, open up your terminal, then type here net user then press enter and it will show you all the user account what has been created on your computer here you can see in my computer i have two account number one is administrator this is a default user account whenever you install an windows on your computer this account will get created then you will have your user account in this case this is my user account so if you found any other user account which is not created by you then make sure you have to delete that user account and also to get more information about that user type here net user then type the username then if i press enter here you can see you will get some more information about that user when the last password set when the password will expire when the password is changeable and which group this user account have like this you will get the basic user information of that user if you found any user account which is not created by you you have to delete that user account from your computer to remove any user account click on start and search for accounts then go to other user. If you found any unwanted user account here, you should remove it. If you click on account, it will show you your user account. But if you click on other user, it will show you other user account. So if you found any user account which has been created on your computer but you don't know, you have to remove it or delete the user account from here. Okay, now the third step. Third step is to find any malicious software which has been installed on your computer. Most Windows users use crack software to save some money. And for this, they download software and application from the third parties and install it on their computer. So it could be happen that you use an application or software which has been downloaded from a third party website. They may cause you affect the virus on your computer. So next step is you have to find the malicious software and remove it from your computer. To do that, on your keyboard, press Windows plus R key and type here MRT then press enter it will open microsoft windows malicious software remover tool this is a hidden tool of microsoft you have to open this tool then click on next then make sure you have to select the full scan then click on next and it will scan your entire system for malicious software or malwares for this video purpose i am selecting the quick scan then click on next and it will start scanning your windows computer for malicious software it's gonna take some time depend how many software or application you are using on your computer you can see here scanning has been completed 
and no malicious software was detected. If it found any malicious software, you will get option to remove it from your computer or you can remove that manually from your computer. Now your virus may affect your browser because most of the time whenever you try to download any files from internet, you will get many type of pop-ups on your computer and on your browser. And it could be happen that malware attack on your browser via the add-ons or any link. So you have to clean your browser too. So now let me show you how to clean up your browser. I am assuming that you are using Chrome browser. So open up your Chrome browser, then click on this three dot and go to settings. First of all, go to about Chrome to make sure your Chrome has been successfully updated. Here you can see my Chrome is completely updated. Then you have to go to reset and clean. Then click on restore setting to the original default. And if I click on reset setting, it will perform all of this action. It will reset the Chrome setting and Chrome shortcut, disable all the extensions and delete cookies and temporary site data. Don't get panic. It will not remove your history or passwords. So reset the Chrome setting from here. Then we have another extra option called clean up computer click on this option then click on find and it will start finding the malicious software on your computer and if it found any malicious tool application or software or the add-ons on your computer or on your browser it will give you the notification and option to remove it then we have the last step and that is using the windows defender now microsoft has a built-in security tool that is windows defender and that is a very useful tool too so click on start and search for security then click on windows security then you have to make sure you have enabled all of this option virus threat protection account protection firewall app browser and also if you want you can enable the device security so after opening the windows security click on virus and threat protection then here you will get an option to scan your computer click on scan option and here you also get an option for quick scan full scan or custom scan make sure to select full scan and click on scan now and it will completely scan your whole computer for malicious software, ransomware or exe files. So using all of this option, you can find malicious application which may cause your computer get hacked and also will get option to remove them. Now sometimes it could be happen that your computer get affected using the ransomware which may corrupt all of your files and data what we have in our computer. Ransomware just change the extension of your files and encrypt all of the files. And if you get affected by ransomware, mostly you will not be able to access your files again, no matter you pay them or not. I will not encourage to pay them. If the ransomware was created by any script kiddy, by any type of open source ransomware code, you can easily remove them by different type of tools which can be found on the internet. But most of the time, you will not be able to remove the ransomware from your computer. So to stay one step ahead, what what you need to do you have to make sure which files you are downloading what website you are visiting and what application you are installing on your computer and also make sure to enable the bitlocker on all of your hard disk partition if i open windows explorer here you can see all of your drive make sure to protect the drive which has important files using the bitlocker so right click on the drive then click on turn on bitlocker and it will start the process then follow the step to encrypt your drive using the bitlocker it may protect your files and data from the ransomware so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i'm Mehdi shakil you are watching this tech tutorial and i'm signing out